All right, welcome everybody. It's KB here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys missing features on Windows 11. So if you use Windows 10 and uh, thinking to move to the Windows 11, then you're going to miss these features in Windows 11. So let's get into it. All right. So the first biggest missing feature in Windows 11 is drag and drop file to open taskbar minimized application. So let me give you the example here actually. So you know there is this cool feature of Windows that has been here for a long time but in Windows 11 it's gone and I'm really sad and I think this is the biggest feature that is missing in Windows 11. So let's say uh, you open a video editor or Photoshop or anything like that, any program, you minimize it and you have file, let's say document and you want to drag and open your program using this file. You can't do that. So I'm using a edge browser. It doesn't matter which application is minimized. When you do the drag and try to drop it on the file, it will actually open the minimized application. So yeah, that thing doesn't work. So it's a really big feature that is missing in Windows 11. If you use a dual monitor, you can have your files opened in one side and your program in other side. So it's easy to work on. But if you use single monitor, I mean, this is what I have been using for a long time and uh, it really sucks that this feature is gone really sad all right moving on to the next feature that is missing in windows 11 is taskbar positioning so you know in previous windows windows 7 windows 10 we have the freedom to move our taskbar start menu to any position left right bottom top so bottom is default actually so we can move wherever we want our taskbar but in windows 11 you cannot you have really limited customization to the taskbar actually you can't even resize your taskbar and uh, yeah it's stuck at bottom so if you are someone who is using your taskbar to left right or top uh, you're gonna miss that really because in windows 11 your taskbar is stuck at bottom you can't move it so yeah this is gonna feel really sad if you use for example taskbar at top and you want to use it on windows 11 the same way you're gonna miss it but uh, i mean uh, for those people who is using the default bottom taskbar i think it's okay uh, i'm one of those people i use the default and i like the centered start menu and taskbar so not a big deal for me but for those people who use the taskbar in different place really a big deal actually so the next one is not a missing feature rather it's a complicated feature now so you know in windows 11 setting up a default browser is very complicated now uh, let's say for example you like google chrome and you want to make a google chrome as your default browser just try it <laughs> there are so many options they have separated every single url type and file type uh, so you have to click on them individually and change them so it's not a one click and set up your default uh, browser anymore so they have made it complicated so people won't bother uh, clicking on this like you know if you don't have patience and you don't have time you don't really do it and actually uh, this trick is working uh, believe it or not my default browser is actually microsoft edge so yeah, they're just trying to force people to use Microsoft Edge as their main browser. Actually, you can still change it, but it's really complicated. That's it. Okay, They have made it complicated to change the default apps. So 
yeah, not a missing feature, but you know, it's not like uh, uh, Microsoft Edge is a bad browser. It's the same as the Google Chrome because it's the Chromium browser. And uh, but you know, still, uh, it's a lot of work to do. Yeah, <laughs> made it complicated. That's it. All right, up to the next one. Next one is folders in start menu and i really like this idea actually in windows 10 you can make a group folder and all that uh, i think i don't use windows 10 anymore i'm using the windows 11 but you know just imagine okay this is the start menu just imagine right click make a folder name it game put all of your games in that folder make another folder like tools put your tools, softwares and all that. So it would be so cool to uh, organize our apps in start menu with folders uh, and we can hide all our applications in desktop. We don't even have to use the desktop. Actually, even if you like pin it, pin all of your important uh, application, it's going to fill up the start menu and you have to do the scroll and all that. But, you know, the, the point is that the there is no option to make a folder and uh, i think this is i really need this feature all right and i think most of the people will also agree that folders in start menu would be amazing amazing we don't have to use the uh, desktop for our apps shortcuts so it would look really clean and we just use start menu ah so good just imagine <laughs> I really need this feature. Come on, Microsoft, do it. Just do it. <laughs> All right, next missing feature in Windows 11 is old sound settings. So when you right click on the sounds option, uh, we have the sound settings, but actually it does not take you to the settings that we want to go. I personally find this really complicated actually. When we click on it, it will take you to the modern sound settings and I really don't like it. So instead of this or, you know, they should add a, another option, sound settings, something like that. Uh, I mean, they are going with the modern settings. I can understand that. But, you know, to access this, uh, uh, that old settings, you, we have to click on more sound settings. Can we have that option in right click menu, please? Yeah, I mean, buy this. So this is more compact and easy to use uh, sound settings because we have been using this from a very long time. Even my grandma loves this settings, okay? This one is like too wide, you know, too complicated. Not too complicated, but still, you know, it's, it's not as compact as uh, this so can we have that in the right click menu please please <laughs> we can still access this it's not a big deal right but uh, still uh, for a easy access uh, we should have this in right click menu uh, when we right click on the sound icon and the next one is also about taskbar actually i forgot to mention i think so this is transparency in taskbar so can we have that Microsoft since you have made you know centered start menu and taskbar uh, we should also have a option to make it transparent just imagine it looks really cool uh, just like in Mac OS I don't know I don't have a Mac OS but I I believe they have an option to make the uh, dock transparent so can we have that dock feeling please <laughs> so yeah unfortunately they made the start menu and taskbar centered but we don't have much options we can't move the taskbar we can't resize the taskbar we can't make it small or big i know there are ways to make it small uh, by using the registry editor and all that but you know we don't have that option this is not a missing feature i get it but you know since they have done so much good work with start menu and taskbar they should also add some more customizable options so that's all i'm asking for and uh, next one is 
a good missing feature that should not come to Windows 11. You know, <laughs> in Windows 10 uh, start menu, you will find lots of ads when you install that for the first time. You will find lots of applications, shortcuts, which uh, will eventually get downloaded. These are basically ads. If you see the Windows 10 start menu, it's full of ads. So in Windows 11, it's clean, very clean. I really like the start menu of Windows 11. It's clean, no ads, no nothing. Uh, you can customize and uh, yeah, it's more compact plus very clean without ads. As of now, there is no ads, okay? So it's a good thing that is gone. I don't know, by the final release of Windows 11, they might add the ads but for now it is looking very good which is a good thing yeah come on goodbye ads and microsoft don't put it back again <laughs> all right up to the next one again start menu related all right okay so it's a recommended page option to hide or unhide so you know in windows 11 we have this recommended section which is splitting the start menu, you know, it's not that useful at all, actually. Uh, basically, it shows you what apps or softwares you have downloaded recently. All right, that's all, that's all it does. So for now, that's all it does. So can we have a option here, which makes this recommended option go away or hide or unhide so that would be amazing so we can fill up our uh, start menu with full of our applications all right uh, yeah <laughs> uh, yeah some of uh, this video is going to where like some of these features we need it some of the features are gone and we also need it so you just i hope you're understanding okay so yeah so microsoft can we have the options for recommended page so we can hide it and hide it yeah thank you <laughs> all right uh, next feature it's uh, not missing feature it's actually duplicate feature yay annoying feature so we had you know uh, duplicates of settings we have the modern settings we have the control panel and now it's the right click context menu yes when you right click this is the modern windows 11 context menu but if you want to access other settings such as nvidia control panel or anything 7-zip winrar anything you have to click on show more options and it will show you the old windows 10 right click menu and we have it in windows 11 we have two right click menus we don't need that Microsoft. Come on, stop making the duplicate applications. Okay, stop. Just stick to one, e either the control panel, either modern design. Come on, just stick to one. I know it's easy for me to say, <laughs> okay? But, uh, you know, there has to be a way to just stick to one. And yeah, uh, stop adding the duplicates of duplicates. So we have this. Uh, right click menu with duplicate another duplicate okay so very sad <laughs> and uh, another feature in file explorer new tabs so it's not a missing feature it was not here in windows ever again but people were uh, expecting to have a tab feature in file explorer so you know in uh, uh, browsers we can click on plus icon and we can open the multiple tabs so yeah um, I mean even if it does not come out it's okay but you know I know that a lot of people need this feature new tab just like a browser we can open the different folders in another tabs you know all that just like we do in browsers so there is actually one application called files which you can download from microsoft store so that files app has a new tab feature so microsoft just get inspired a little bit <laughs> yeah 
that's all about this but you know not a big deal uh, we have been using this file explorer from a very long time we can open the another instance even if we don't have the new tab option we can open the instances multiple so not a big deal it's okay and um, that wraps up all the things almost all right um yeah uh, here is the list <laughs> uh I made for this uh, I have been trying to make this video from a very long time not a very very long time but few days now but finally I made it and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it I will put link in the description for my Windows 11 update so you can check on what's new in Windows 11 and all that you can go there and I will also put link in the description for how to get Windows 11 ISO file you can go there learn if you are interested in getting the windows 11 and uh, finally i want to ask you a favor you know i have talked too much i showed you some of the missing features some of the features that ne we need in windows 11 and all that but if you have any suggestion just like me you are curious uh, and i have missed any feature that was important what i'm trying to say here is just say in the comment you missed this this feature is also missing and all that so yeah you can comment down below and i'll try to pin your comment just just help each other okay just give me your idea in the comments that's it hope you enjoyed it so yeah that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye